we were all in heaven at one point and just like lucifer falling in love with himself and getting kicked out of heaven and fell in consciousness we fell in consciousness so we fell in consciousness now the only way we can get back up there is if we rise through love and that was the only way to bring our consciousness back up these stories are about us we were we were in heaven this is the key that we were in heaven we fell in consciousness down to malkuth which is earth but how do we rise in consciousness? Matthew 10, 16, we need to be innocent as doves, but wise as serpents. That's because the snake, the snake goes up to be an eagle. So the root chakra to the crown chakra, 144, the 144,000 go to heaven. This is a frequency, this is a vibration. You gotta raise your vibrational frequency. The whole point is to raise your vibration. You have this kundalini energy that falls and goes back up. Depending on your hormones, you have the sun and you have the moon. You have the Horus's eye and you have the moon. Horus, moon, hormones. And then every, just like how women have a menstrual cycle, men have a cycle too. You have three, the, 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 three, the three gifts from the wise men. That is from your pineal gland. You have your dopamine, serotonin, melatonin, and it falls, creates the chrism oil, rises back up to Christ consciousness. This, like society has basically external Externalized everything of what you are everything that is sacred about you they've externalized it you are the holy grail your neck is in your head that's the chalice you have the fountain of youth which is the, the cerebral spinal uh, spinal fluid that falls down in consciousness and comes back up you have pandora's box which is your heart they make you externalize all of these gifts that you have so the whole point is to raise your vibration out of the carnal mind into your third heaven the three levels of heaven that's why in Mormonism, you hear the three levels of heaven. You hear celestial, terrestrial, telestial. Only those in the celestial kingdom will live in God's presence. And that's why veganism is a must. You can't be eating these low vibrational foods that make you more instinctual. You need to raise in out of the carnal mind into your third heaven, into your third eye, into your, your, your fourth dimensional being, your light being. Jacob's ladder and at the top was heaven. Like I was watching a video on Kevin Gates and he was talking about how he did a 40 day water fast and he traveled, he astral traveled to the celestial court. We are literally just CO2 constituents. We're just light and vibrations. So they say we're looking at the universe through a peephole, a peephole that you put a key through. So if you're looking, you're only going to see what that peephole allows you to see, but there's different frequencies and vibrations. And that's what we're going to call CO2 constituents, at, which is nothing but light and vibration. And that's where everything truly exists. So low frequency light becomes matter and high frequency matter becomes light. So you need to raise your vibration through love, good eating, eating the right foods. Raise your frequency, you become illuminated and then you go from matter to becoming an angel. And that's why you got to do everything with love because high frequency short fast wavelengths activates many more DNA coding sites. That's what love does. The highest form of worship in Luciferianism is the inversion of God and that's with fear. It activates few DNA coding, keeps you bonded. It, it shackles you to this construct. Fear literally just prevents you from becoming illuminated.